Okay mga kawawmat, in this video, we will discuss the Hinge Theorem and its converse. Ito rin po yung tinatawag nating SAS and SSS Inequality Theorem. So before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like our video and subscribe na rin kayo. Thank you! So let us recall the theorems on triangle inequality. So ito po yung mga previous tutorial na na-discuss natin. So we have the exterior angle inequality theorem, the triangle inequality theorem which includes the angle side inequality theorem and the side angle inequality theorem. So ito po yung mga na-discuss na natin sa ating mga previous tutorial. Now, ano po ang similarity nitong mga to? So ito po ay mga theorems on the inequalities for one triangle. Okay? So, ito po yung mga theorems na ginagamit po natin for the inequalities for one triangle. Now, in this video, we will focus on the hinge theorem. So, ito ba, ano ba itong hinge theorem? So, ano ba ang difference nito sa mga theorems na to? So, ito pong hinge theorem focused on the inequality for two triangles. So, these theorems are for one triangle. Well, this theorem is for two triangles. So, yun po ang pinagkaiba nila. Now, let's start. So, let me show you an illustration which will lead us to the hinge theorem and its converse. So, may ipapakita ako na kung saan para maintindihan ninyo ng mas maigi ano ba itong hinge theorem. So, given these two non-congruent sides, with the given angle, so meron tayo ditong two non-congruent sides and the given angle. And then, ito po yung kanyang opposite side given angle. Now, let us try to expand these two sides. So, expand natin itong two sides. So, nung in-expand natin siya, the length becomes longer. So, ibig sabihin, kapag lumalaki po yung angle natin dito, humahaba po yung length ng opposite side niya. Extend ulit natin. So, as the angle becomes bigger, the opposite side becomes longer. So, let me show you the difference of these two, three triangles. So, from the original triangle, nung in-expand natin siya, lumaki yung angle, lumaki yung humaba yung ating Length. Lumaki yung angle, mas humaba po yung ating length. Now, given these three triangles, we have here points R, P, and M are considered the hinge of the pair of non-congruent sides. So, from your original, okay, ito yung original natin. So, nung in-extend natin siya, ito siya, and then ito. Now, ito pong point R natin, point P, at point M are the hinge of the pair of non-congruent sides. Ano ba itong hinge? So, ang trabaho po ni hinge, this allows us to create the angular degree. So, para siyang uh, pinto na habang binubuksan mo siya, lumalaki po yung ating angle dun sa pinagkakabitan ng pinto sa pader natin. Okay? So, yun po, uh, think of it that way. Okay? So, um, yung hinge po, siya po yung nagkikreate ng angle. Kung gano'ng kalaki yung angle, ganun po kahaba yung opposite side niya. So, let me get two of the triangles dun sa ating pinakitang illustration kanina. So, ito po yung dalawang triangles natin. Now, i-connect po natin yung dalawang sides natin. So, i-form po natin yung ating third side. So, this is, we have triangle ABC. And then, ito rin po, i-connect po natin yung length ng ating third side. So, this will be our triangle RST. So, I have here two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle RST. Now, let's say the measure of angle R is 80 degrees. And then, the measure of angle A is 50 degrees. So, again, meron po tayong measure ng dalawang angles. For angle R, we have 80 degrees. And for angle A, we have 50 degrees. Now, given these two triangles, let us name 
congruent corresponding sides and the angles, the included angle. So, based dito sa ating dalawang triangles, ano yung first side na congruent sa kanila? So, we have segment RS is congruent to segment AB because of the symbol, yung ating thick lines. And then, we also have segment RT which is congruent to segment AC. And then, for our angle, can we say that the measure of angle R is also congruent to the measure of angle A. Pwede ba natin, since yung two sides natin ay parehong congruent, yung corresponding congruent sides niya, yung angles din ba nila ay congruent based dito sa ating figure? No. Why? Because angle R is greater than angle A. So, we have the measure of angle R is greater than the measure of angle A. So, angle R at angle A natin, hindi po sila congruent kasi hindi po sila equal. But, angle R is greater than angle A. So, now, if the measure of angle R is greater than the measure of angle A, then what can you say about its opposite side? Anong masasabi ninyo dun sa opposite side nung ating angle? So, kung mas mataas ito, what have you noticed? Mas mahaba po yung kanyang length. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kapag mas mataas yung angle o mas malaki yung angle natin, the, the larger the angle, the longer its opposite side. So, kung maliit yung angle mo, mas maliit po yung length ng opposite side natin. Therefore, we can say that segment ST is greater than segment BC. Okay, why? Kasi po, mas malaki po itong angle na to dito. So, ibig sabihin, yung opposite side niya, mas mahaba ang length is longer than the length of BC. And that is the hinge theorem is all about. That if two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, so ito po yung two sides ng triangle na congruent din sa two sides ng another triangle, and the included angle, so ito po yung included angle, pag sinabi natin included, in between. And the included angle of the first triangle is greater than the included angle of the second then the third side of the first, ito yung third side, yung yellow line. Then the third side of your first triangle is longer than the third side of your second triangle. So, yun po ang concept ng ating hinge theorem. Now, as you can see, we have here two sides and an included angle. So, again, this is considered included angle because the angle is in between the two congruent sides. Okay? Now, since we have here two sides and an included angle, then therefore, we can call it SAS. Bakit? The side, the included angle, and the side. But as you can see, our included angle here is not congruent. Okay? So, yung included angle natin na given, hindi po sila congruent. Dahil hindi po equal ang measures nila. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po to SAS congruence, kundi SAS inequality theorem. So, ibig sabihin, the hinge theorem is also called the SAS inequality theorem. Tatandaan na kapag sinabi po nating hinge theorem, we have two, si two corresponding sides that are congruent. And an included angle which is unequal, not equal. Okay? And ang sinasabi po ng hinge theorem natin, the larger the angle, the longer the side. So, if the angle of the first triangle is larger than the second triangle, then the opposite side of the larger angle of your first triangle is also longer than the side of your second triangle. Let's have the converse of the hinge theorem. So, dito naman, ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng con converse? Ibig sabihin, opposite. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin converse, ano po ba ang given dito sa ating figures? We have here 
uh, segment RS is congruent to segment AB. And then we also have segment RT which is congruent to segment AC. And your segment ST which is greater than segment BC. So, kapag ang, op, ang side o opposite side ng angle natin, yung included angle natin is longer than the opposite side of the given angle ng second triangle mo, ibig sabihin, we can also say that the measure of angle R is greater than the measure of angle A. So, kanina dun sa hinge theorem, given yung angle, malalaman natin na yung opposite side niya is also greater than the second triangle. So, dito naman, since converse ito, sa triangle, I mean, sa side naman tayo. So, kapag ang side daw po nung first triangle mo is longer than the side of your second triangle, then the angle opposite the longer side is also larger than the angle opposite of your second triangle. So, ito po yung sinasabi ng converse of the hinge theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, and the third side of the first is longer than the third side of the second, then the included angle in the first triangle is greater than the included angle in the second triangle. So, as you can see, Meron tayo ditong dalawang sides and isang side na unequal or hindi congruent. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? We have here two sides that are congruent. So, ibig sabihin their measures are equal. And then another side na kung saan hindi congruent because segment ST is greater than BC. Therefore, we have here SSS. Since we have three sides of the triangle. Yun nga lang, your third side is not congruent. So, ano pong ibig sabihin nun? This is also the SSS inequality theorem. So, pag sinabi natin converse of the hinge theorem, eto rin po yung tinatawag nating SSS inequality theorem. Let's try. Complete the statement with, with less than greater than or equal. So, paano natin malalaman kung ano po ang mas longer o mas larger angle? So, given these two triangles, paano natin malalaman? I have here RT and NM. Which one is greater? So, base po tayo dun sa opposite angle niya. So, kapag Meron po tayong included angle. I-compare po natin yung dalawang included angle ng ating dalawang triangles. Kung ano po yung mas mataas, yun po yung mas longer ang side. So, since mas mataas po ito, ibig sabihin MN is greater than RT. So, based dito sa ating statement, RT is less than NM. Since RT ang nauna, less than po tayo. Why? Because this is just 54 degrees. Ito po ay 71 degrees. So, dito pa lang sa include angle, malalaman natin na yung opposite side niya, ito, mas maiksi siya dito. Okay. Now, when we are identifying, paano natin malalaman kung anong side ang mas mahaba or kung anong angle ang mas malaki? Paano natin malalaman? Dapat ma-identify mo muna yung dalawang sides mo. Congru congru corresponding congruent sides mo. Kasi kapag hindi mo na-identify yung corresponding congruent sides, kalimbawa ito, dito, and ito, dito, hindi mo malalaman yung included angle. Sa included angle po tayo magbe-base kung ano po yung opposite side na mas longer. Next. So, dito meron tayong one pair of corresponding congruent sides. So, kulang pa tayo ng isa. So, we have this. So, lagyan natin ng mark. So, ibig sabihin, kung ito yung second pair ng congruent corresponding angle aside, ibig sabihin, ito po yung included angle niyan. So, paano natin malalaman kung si STP o si OTP yung mas malaki? So, which one is larger? Alin dito sa dalawa? So, ang titingnan po natin yung opposite side nila. 
So, since mas mataas itong opposite side nito, mas longer ito si SP, ibig sabihin mas larger po itong angle na to. So, angle STP is greater than OTP. Next, so since given po yung dalawang sides, so ibig sabihin ito yung first side na pair of sides natin na congruent. So, yung isa, ito po yung nasa gitna. So, kung ito yung first side, ito yung second side, ibig sabihin ito po yung included angle. So, dito tayo magbe-base and dun sa opposite side niya. So, now, paano natin malalaman kung angle X o si angle Y ang larger? So, tignan tayo dun sa kanyang opposite side. So, since mas, ma, mas longer itong opposite side ni angle Y, ibig sabihin mas larger ang angle ni angle Y. So, angle X is less than angle Y. Next, so we have here one pair of corresponding congruent angles. So, ano yung isa? Since uh, meron tayo ditong same ng measure ng angles, equal angles, ibig sabihin isosceles itong triangle natin. So, meron tayong isosceles triangle at yung base angles niya ay congruent. Ibig sabihin yung two sides niya congruent then. So, we now have two pairs of corresponding congruent sides na. So, we can now identify the included angle. So, ibig sabihin ito yung included angle natin. Now, paano natin malalaman which side is longer? Is it PH or AC? So, paano natin malalaman? Kung an, tingnan natin yung opposite niya. So, ang opposite side angle po ni PH ay 41. Ang opposite angle po ni AC ay 40. So, alin ang larger angle? 41. So, ibig sabihin, ito po, ito rin po ang longer side natin compared to AC. So, PH is greater than AC. Let's have an example. So, find the range of values for K. So, balikan lang natin yung hinge theorem. Pag sinabing hinge theorem, kung yung um, angle nung isang tri included angle nung first triangle mo is larger than the second triangle, Ibig sabihin, mas mahaba rin po yung opposite side niya. So, i-apply natin yun dito. And also, the concept of the converse of hinge theorem. So, in this figure, so given po yung dalawang sides natin, okay? So, we have ST which is equal to 16 and PT which is equal to 17. So, we can apply here the converse of hinge theorem since sides po yung given natin na anong pwede natin gamitin? Ibig sabihin, the measure of angle SRT is less than the measure of angle PRT. Why? Bakit ko nasabi that the measure of this angle is less than the measure of this angle? So, we are actual, actually applying the concept of Hinge Theorem and the, its converse. Okay? So, let us... Solve. So, since the measure of angle SRT is less than the measure of angle PRT, so ano pong gagawin natin? We have the SRT, which is 3K minus 6, is less than PRT. Okay? Which is 36. So, now, when we are solving inequality, let's, especially when we are finding the range of values for K or for the unknown, kung ano mang variable yan, Ganito po ang pattern natin dyan. So, kapag na lagay mo na iyong uh, inequality statement, so, isa-substitute mo na yung your SRT is 3K minus 6, and then your PRT is 36. So, mag, kung ano po yung symbol mo dito, yun po ang ilalagay mo dito. Okay? And then, ang ilalagay po natin dito, it's either 0 or 180. So, paano natin malalaman kung 0 or 180? Kapag less than po ang symbol, ang ilalagay po natin dito ay 0. Pag greater than po yan, ang ilalagay po natin ay 180. Okay? Bakit? Ano po bang paliwanag po doon? Bakit 0? Ang ibig sabihin po kasi dito, ang measure po nitong angle daw is dapat mas mababa sa 36. Pero syempre, hindi pwedeng kung mas mababa siya sa 36, hindi siya pwedeng mas mataas sa 180. Kaya dapat mas mataas siya sa 0. Okay? So, lagi pong ganun. After mo i-substitute, kung ano po yung symbol mo dito, yun po yung gagamitin natin dito. And then, kapag less than po yan, zero po to. 
So, let us solve. Kapag nagsasolve po tayo, i-transpose po natin itong ating constant. Ang iiwan lang po natin sa gitna ay yung may unknown. So, 3K lang po yan. And then, copy, copy, copy yung 36, copy yung 0. Kapag nagtatranspose po tayo nitong constant from your middle term, so, since negative 6 siya, magpa-positive 6 yan. Ganon din po sa kabila. Both sides po tayo mag add ng 6. So, now, We now have 0 plus 6, that is 6. This is 3K. 36 plus 6, that is 42. Para makuha natin yung value po ng K natin, divide po siya natin on both sides of your inequality. So, we have divide both, both sides by 3. So, divide po natin lahat yan by 3 para ma-cancel po natin ito. So, we now have 6 divide 3 is 2. 42 divide 3 is 14. Okay, so the val and then three divide three. This is already one, so that is one. So your k means the value of k, the possible values or the range of values of k, is greater than two but less than fourteen. So yun po ang tatandaan. Ibig sabihin yung possible range po ng values ng k natin greater than two but less than fourteen. So ano yung mga values na yun? Greater than two ibig sabihin three. Less than 14, so 13. From 3 to 13. Okay? So, we have here 3K minus 6. So, ano yung maximum angle measure nito? Or minimum angle measure nito? So, yun ang kukunin natin. So, para makuha natin yung maximum angle measure, pag sinabing maximum value, 13 po. Pag sinabing minimum value, 3. Okay? Ulitin ko ha, pag maximum value, Value ng K, 13. Minimum value, 3. Pero pag ang tinatanong ay minimum at maximum angle measure, isosolve nyo siya, isasubstitute nyo siya sa K. Okay? So, para malaman natin yung uh, minimum angle measure, since ang minimum value nito ay 3, isasubstitute natin yung 3 doon. So, 3 times 3, that is 9 minus 6, that is 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang pinakamababang pwedeng maging measure nitong angle na to ay 3. That is the minimum angle measure. After mo isubstitute yung minimum value. Next, para makuha naman natin, ano yung pinakamalaki, yung maximum na angle measure nito? So, isasubstitute naman natin sa 3K minus 6 yung maximum value mo which is 13. So, isubstitute natin si 13, that is 39, minus 6, that is 33. So, ibig sabihin, yung 33 is the maximum angle measure mo dito. So, ang pwede mong maging measure dito ay from 3 to 33 lang po. So, hindi po pwedeng bumaba sa 3 at tumaas sa 33. Okay? Okay. So, again ha, pag sinabi nating maximum value, 13 po yun. Pag sinabi nating minimum value, that is 3. Pero, pag kung gusto natin kunin yung minimum at maximum value nitong angle na to, isubstitute po natin siya. Next, find the range of values for K. So, um, given the figure, so since mas longer po ito, itong side na to, ibig sabihin, larger itong angle. So, doon natin malalaman kapag mas mata mahaba itong side na to o length nito, ibig sabihin yung opposite angle niya, which is the included angle, mas mataas rin po dito. So, paano ngayon ang inequality statement natin? That angle PRT, ito po yung PRT natin, is greater than SRT. Bakit? Kasi po base dito, mas mataas ito. So, ibig sabihin, mas mataas po ito. So, PRT is greater than SRT. So, kunin natin yung values niya. Substitute natin. We have for angle PRT, we have 3K minus 9 is greater than your angle SRT is 33. So, ito po yung gagamitin natin. Now, kanina, sabi ko kapag kung ano po yung symbol nyo dito, yun din po dito ilalagay. So, kanina, pinakita ko na kapag less than 0 po. Ito, kapag greater than 180 po ang ilalagay natin. Okay? Kasi ano po, bakit 180? Kasi po ang sabi, yung measure daw po ng angle na to is greater than 33. Pero syempre, kung mas mataas siya sa 33, hindi siya pwedeng mas mataas sa 
Okay, kasi po ang triangle uh, triangle sum theorem natin, 180 lang po dapat ang sum. So, kung yung measure nitong angle na to ay mas mataas sa 33, hindi siya pwedeng mas mataas sa 180. Kaya po, baka pag greater than 180 po ang ilagay natin. Pag less zero 0 po. Okay. So, kagaya ng pag-solve natin kanina, ang iiwanan lang po natin sa gitna ay yung may unknown, which is k. And then, ito pong ating constant, itatranspose natin. That will become positive 9 on your right side and positive 9 on your left side po. So, we have 180 plus 9, that is 189, 3k, and then 33 plus 9, that is 42. So, divide po natin lahat by 3. So, we have 189 divided by 3, that is 63. And then, 3 divided by 3, that is 1. So, we only have K. And then, 42 divided by 3, that is 14. So, ibig sabihin, K is less than, okay? K is less than 63, but greater than 14. Again, the value or the possible range of values of K should be great, less than 63, but greater than 14. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung less than 63, ibig sabihin 62. Kung greater than 14, ibig sabihin 15. So, ang possible values ng K mo dito is from 15 to 62. Ulitin ko, from 15 to 62. So, yung 15 ang minimum value, yung 62 ang maximum value. 15 is the minimum value, 62 is the maximum value. So now, kung gusto mo naman makuha itong minimum angle measure at maximum angle measure niya, isubstitute mo yung minimum value at maximum value mo. So given po yung ating 3K minus 9, so kunin natin yung minimum angle measure. So para makuha yung minimum angle measure, isubstitute natin yung minimum value. Ano yung minimum value? 15, yung pinakamababa. So, i-substitute natin si 15. So, 3 times 5, that is 45 minus 9, that is 36. Okay? So, ang 36 po is the minimum angle measure. Ito yung pinakamababang pwede niyang maging measure dito, 36. Now, para makuha naman natin, ano yung maximum angle measure niya? So, dun sa 3K minus 9, i-substitute naman natin yung maximum value. Ano yung maximum value? 62. So, i-substitute natin siya kay K. So, 3 times 62. 3 times 62, that is 186. Minus 9, we have 177. So, ibig sabihin, 177 is the maximum angle measure. So, ang sukat daw po nitong angle na to is from 36, since yun ang minimum, hanggang 177 lang po, since ayun po yung maximum. Again, the minimum value is 62, the maximum value is 13, I mean the minimum value is 15, and then the maximum value is 62. So, para makuha naman yung minimum angle measure at maximum angle measure, isa substitute po natin dito yung minimum value, dito naman yung maximum value. Next. So, ang given po natin dito is we have SK. Ito po yung SK is congruent to TE. And then, TK is congruent to TA. And then, we also have ST. Segment ST is greater than segment EA. Now, by applying the hinge theorem and its converse, kung mas malaki ito, mas mahaba po itong length na to dito sa EA, Ibig sabihin, opposite angle ni ST, which is angle C, is larger than the opposite angle of EA, which is angle T. So, yun po yung pwede natin gamitin. That uh, since the measure of ST is longer than EA or greater than EA, ibig sabihin, yung opposite angle po nito ay mas malaki rin po sa opposite angle ni EA. So, ano ba yung mga opposite angle nila? For ST, ang opposite angle niya is SKT, which is also your angle C. And for EA, ang opposite angle niya is angle T, which is also your ETA. So, by 
SSS inequality. So, since meron tayo ditong um, three sides, that is by SSS inequality. Or, converse of hinge theorem. So, let us solve. So, given po yung ating Measure ng angle SKT or yung angle C natin, which is 5K minus 2. So, si 5K minus 2 raw is greater than the measure of angle T. Okay? So, si measure of angle SKT is greater than the measure of angle ETA. So, si 5K minus 2, since yun po yung measure niya, is greater than what is the measure of ETA? 93. So, is greater than 93. Now, since greater than ito, sabi ko, yun rin po ang ilalagay dito. At ang kapag greater than 180 po tayo. Kapag less than 0 po ang ilalagay. Okay? So, we have 5K. And then, transpose natin ito. Magiging plus 2. Plus 2 rin po sa left side. So, 180 plus 2, that is 182. We have 5K. 93 plus 2, this is 95. Divide lahat natin by 5. So, we have 182 divided by 5, that is 36.4. And then, 95 divided by 5, this is 19. Okay. So, and then, this is 5 divided by 5, that is 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang value ng K mo is less than, less than 36.4, but greater than 19. So, again, less than 36.4, 0.4 but greater than 19. So, ano po ang possible range of values ni K natin dito? From greater than 19, so to that is 20. Less than 36.4, so that is 36.3. So, ang minimum value natin ay 20. Ang maximum value natin ay 36.3. So, ang possible values po, range ng possible values ng ating K is from 20, since greater than 19, from 20 to 36.3 lang po. Okay, test yourself. So, dito naman, given naman yung side, but still, yun pa rin po ang process ng pagsusolve. So, the given angles, if you want to have more time, you may pause the video before I show you the answers. So, let us answer. So, the given angles. Ano ba yung given angles natin? We have 68 degrees and 55 degrees. The given sides are 50 centimeters and 5x plus 2 centimeters. So, therefore, our inequality statement will be, since mas mataas itong angle na to, ibig sabihin, mas longer itong side natin. So, 50 is greater than 5x plus 2. And then, the range of values of x, pag sinol po natin yan, ito po dapat ang inyong range of values. So, what is the minimum value? Since ang x po natin ay greater than negative 2.5. So, that the minimum value is negative 1.5. And ang x po natin ay less than 9.6. So, ang maximum value natin ay 9.5. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.